<laughs> you know, this is my initial reaction, man, for real, man. So, you know, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Maybe it's 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know. I'm on the phone because, you know, what am I doing? Nothing. I should be asleep right now, really. Um, scrolling through the phone, 11 Alive out of Atlanta, doing a story about the proliferation. Let me repeat, the proliferation of fake police and fake security in Metro Atlanta. I'm going to briefly talk about the fake police. I mean, that's nothing new. It's nothing new. I don't really get it uh, unless you're, you know, you're using it as a, as, as a guise to uh, to commit a felonious criminal act. You're using it as a, a guise to gain access or to make it easier for you to commit a felonious criminal act. I don't really get being fake police. You know, I mean, you got the uniform. Some people got a car. Some people got lights. I don't get it. What are you going to do? I mean, there's people pulling people over, they said. What, what were you going to do? You going to write them a ticket? Hey, you know, you got to interact with law enforcement. Uh in some manner or fashion or capacity, to, you know, that's why I don't get it. I mean, what were you going to yell at them and tell them to go on? I mean, what was the goal of you pulling people over if you're not going to commit some kind of felonious criminal act? Uh, what's the point of being police on the side? I, I don't get it. So I can't explain it to you because I don't understand it. And I, somebody could maybe explain it to me because I, I don't get it. But you know my, you know my main concern is security. Now people said I was a wannabe cop, I was fake police, I'm fake security. Um, no, no, they always said I was a wannabe cop, fake police, uh, and that I was security. Well, APD had a problem. I did work for a security company from January 25th, 2012 to April 10th, uh, 2012. I did work for a security company. The APD actually had a problem with, with me because there was nothing identifying me as a police officer with all my, uh, with all my gear that looked like I was security or police. Actually, actually the time I was security, so. Uh, and then people will say, well, you didn't have a blue card. You, you, you wasn't this, you wasn't that. Listen, I worked for a security company. Uh, I did, uh, I had taken all the prerequisite training, but I didn't have a blue card, which you need. You need a blue card to, to be an armed security officer in the state of Georgia. I just had my white card, which was at the time, you know, your personal carry permit. So I did have that, uh, but the, but me not having a blue card was more of a problem for the security company than it was for me, right? Uh, and I'm even on the the, the list by, by the state for people who should cease and desist being you know security you know being unlicensed security which I still find hilarious because the contract that I signed said management. But since I didn't really care that much and maybe I needed those, that those people one day, you know, I just, I just, you know, it wasn't even worth fighting because I don't really care. Um, and I didn't care, but now let's talk about fake security. Listen, stop watching my channel thinking you can do the things that I did because you can't because the laws change, the environments change. And if, you, if you're not smart enough to understand that the environment's changed and that the laws have changed, you're, you're probably too stupid to be police or security. So, and then, you know, fake, I mean, what's the goal here? 
I mean, you shouldn't be doing it for free, right? You shouldn't be, you know, why would you want it? I mean, as, as high as uh, uh, the cost of living is now in Atlanta, why the hell would you want to do something for free that you could get paid to do? Like law enforcement, it's an actual profession. Security, it's an actual profession. You should get paid to do it. You know? You should get paid to, to be a police officer. You should get paid to be a security officer. But the, since the laws have changed, you know, citizens' arrest is, for the most part, null and void. I mean, effectively, it's null and void. Uh, since I, 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 I'm no longer interested in, in working in either one of those professions, and long since before I started the Metro Mall, before, you know, I had stopped wanting to be a, be the police long before uh, I started working at the Metro Mall. And, and I tell people all the time, you can scour this country and you'll never find an application at any police academy. The only thing I ever applied for was New York State Corrections and I was so happy that I didn't get it. And I didn't get it because I couldn't see well enough without glasses. So. And, and I know somebody who did work for New York State Corrections told me to lie. I, I just wouldn't lie. I'm so happy I didn't get that because who in the hell wants to go to prison every day, even if you can get out uh, every day. Um, so, no, there's too much liability. Uh, uh, being security, no one respects security. There's too much animosity against the police. And, and you're going to need those protections from those professions. Now, police have more protections. Security has little protection, but whatever little protection you have, you're going to need that. And you ain't going to have it. So I don't, I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's the upside to being fake security. Unless you're, you know, unless you're trying to, to, to bamboozle somebody, fool somebody, to commit some kind of criminal act. What are you doing? I don't get it. Can you explain it to me? I mean, because they said a fake, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say fake. They said an unlicensed security officer. Well, fake security officer, I don't know if he was on the premise Legally or illegally, the news report doesn't go into it. He shot somebody. He got arrested. They say he's not security. Uh, was, was he, I mean, was he walking around the mall for no reason? Was he getting paid by somebody? I have no clue. They didn't bother to address it. You would have to look into it. I'm not going to look into it, right? Uh, yeah, unlicensed security, a lot of liability. You know, this constitutional carry in Georgia. So most people, a lot of people didn't bother to try to get a permit, even if they if, if they could even if they could legally get a gun. A lot of people didn't, but now they don't even need it. So I'm thinking maybe this is something that you don't want to do. I mean, you can't go out on the streets and did what I did. Uh, and I didn't do that much. And why didn't I do that much? Because liability, too much liability. And I had the authority, I had the ability, I had the legal ability, I don't want to say authority, but I had the legal ability to do more legally. State, well, I guess it is authority. I mean, the state of Georgia said as a citizen, you could do certain things if you witnessed a, a crime or a felony. Now the state of Georgia says that you cannot do that. <laughs> so what are you doing? There's too much liability in it anyway. Now, you know, now you ain't got no protections because you're out there either unlicensed or or faking it, man, that's a 
man, it's, it, that's a dangerous profession to be uh, not authentic. Either one. I think security is more dangerous than policing, actually, all depending on where you're at. Um, you want to take on that kind of liability with, for free, no money, no protections, nothing? Wow. So to, to conclude this video, if you made it this far, listen, eh, refrain, refrain and just be frustrated like everybody else that you really can't do shit about what you just saw. You know, you can call the police, but sometimes you don't even bother to call the police. Calling the police eh, brings more to a situation than may be necessary. Because uh, you, you, you never know who's going to show up. Uh, stop watching my videos thinking you can do what I did in 2012 and 2023 because you can't. Okay? Just be easy. Be authentic or don't be it at all.